So as you probably figured out by my wall tapestry back there, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And uh, I wanted to uh, paint this uh, holocron my, my friend printed some time ago uh, and, and, uh, and give it to him. Uh, and I thought it would be really cool to go all at it with my rub and buff and a layer of copper in addition to the brass and gold and then hit it up with the airbrush to make it look like it's a little bit more illuminated. Anyway, here's the uh, process of it all uh, unfolding. Anyway, enjoy. So I started off with a very basic uh, prime and sand job, nothing super special. And then I did a basic wash of uh, light blue. Um, and this is the sort of uh, schematic I was going on. Just a very basic sort of gesture of the colors that I'm interested in. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, me going into it with uh, trying to put down a base coat of uh, a, uh, this particular one is a gold paint, um, but I'm gonna eventually want a more uh, bronze feel for it, but I'm gonna need to do this general base coat uh, to work on top of or uh, with all my uh, layering and uh, colors. Um, I think I go into it with uh, two colors and then I have my darkening uh, sort of process for it. So yeah, that's what it looks like after the uh, first coat. Um, it's uh, a little tacky at this point, so I'm trying to figure out uh, what I want to do with it necessarily. So this is me going into it with the uh, copper paint. It's not very obvious um, the uh, what the copper paint uh, does to it, but I paint a little bit of copper paint onto uh, a small corner of it so I can see what it'll look like when uh, I do my uh, I rub off the paint with this cloth. This will keep all the paint in the valleys and just leave uh, uh, those in place while I have the, the rest of it sort of polished out. So I have the shiny on the top and then the dark in the valley. That's kind of what it looks like. It's kind of hard to tell, but you get a little bit more color depth the more uh, layers you put in. Uh, so it's very light and very subtle, but at the end you can sort of feel that it looks uh, a little bit more bronzy uh, without it looking like overpowered brown bronze. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead and do this to the whole cube. Takes a, a good bit. Uh, and yeah, that's what it kind of looks like. So it's got that sort of uh, tint to it, the copper tint uh, uh, to all those uh, valleys and, and grooves. And I try to keep uh, the glowing part of the holocron that um, blue wash as much as I can. Um, I'm okay with making some smushes in it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just sort of cleaning it up with the rub and buff, getting it, getting it looking good before I go into uh, uh, the oil painting part, which the oil paint I have really grown to love um, because it's not like uh, acrylics or latexes. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, finessing uh, to really uh, get that to work properly because it dries so fast but the oil paints on the other hand yeah this is just me rubbing rubbing it off the oil paints on the other hand take a really long time to dry so I can really take my time and work them into the edges how I want um, so yeah this is me going at it uh, for the whole cube um, this this whole process took a while because I was really going slow and deliberate with everything. So, uh, so yeah, and that's sort of uh, what it looks like. Pick it up. There you go, Armand. Pick up the thing. Stop looking at it. Show it to the camera. Come on. Come on, pick it up. No, you don't. You can put that down. You're not going to do that. Come on, just pick up the cube. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, see how I got a little bit of paint on the centers? I'll be able to clean that up with an airbrush. So yeah. And then this is uh, what it looks like all airbrushed and uh, put together. And I think I am going to design my own holocron. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a different video. It's going to like twist out and all the corners are going to come out. Yeah, 
I think that's a good idea. Cool. Well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, have a great day.